Tonight, a CARE 11 investigation discovers police agencies skipping a basic safety precaution, not ensuring the masks they're giving their officers to protect them during the COVID pandemic actually work. Here's investigative reporter A.J. Legault. Union Depot in St. Paul. <laughs> a man walks down the sidewalk coughing <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> Back up the video and you'll see the sick sounding man had just been in close contact with a pair of Metro Transit police officers who'd responded to reports of a man defecating in public. To protect their officers during the COVID pandemic, Metro Transit issued a personal protective equipment policy and N95 masks to their officers, telling them when boarding a train or bus, they should always wear the N95. Also, when they have someone in custody in their vehicle. But our investigation found Metro Transit skipped an important step meant to protect officers using the N95 masks, a step safety experts say is critical. Terribly important, the fit testing is what gives you this indication of, you know, what, what, is fit, what is fitting properly for your particular facial features. Bill Stewart is an occupational safety specialist with the Minnesota Safety Council. You can see the fit testing he mentioned in this video by the N95 mask manufacturer, Minnesota-based 3M. A plastic hood is put over a person wearing an N95 and scented aerosol is pumped in. If the fit test is completed without the subject detecting the sweet taste of the test solution, an adequate face seal has been demonstrated. The masks, also called respirators, come in different sizes. A bad fit means a bad seal, rendering the mask ineffective. If it's not fitting right, it's not going to work right? No, if it doesn't fit correctly, it doesn't, it doesn't filter the, the air as you would expect it to. How important is it? Even as OSHA relaxed standards during the coronavirus emergency, they still require employers to perform initial fit tests to protect against COVID-19. Their rule states, initial fit testing is essential to determine if the respirator properly fits the worker and is capable of providing the expected level of protection. For every call, every medical that we go to, our officers are, are down, down with the uh, N95s. Um, and that and that's our protocol going forward. Lieutenant Andy Knott says the Anoka Sheriff's Department issued N95s thinking something was better than nothing. They're scrambling this week to get everyone fit tested. For protection of our employees and, and the public as well. St. Paul Police reports fit testing all officers, but that's not the case everywhere. The Minneapolis Police Department said they're not fit testing. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Department says they're not sure if all deputies have been fit tested. The Ramsey County Sheriff's Department didn't answer our question directly, stating staff are working to form fit the masks to ensure proper sealing. And Metro Transit wrote, we have not been fit testing because of the constrained supply chain. We felt that it was most prudent to preserve our inventory. However, under OSHA's current COVID-19 rules, N95s used for fit testing can be reused. So fit testing does not really affect inventory. Initial fit testing is a requirement. So there is no excuse for not following the standard here. For Carol Levin Investigates, I'm AJ Legault.